Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different than usual. Uh, I've been wanting to try a viral TikTok, Instagram a hack where people use oven cleaner to strip the varnish of their furniture, to strip it to the bare wood. Uh, so I said that and I've been seeing that for months and I wanted to try. So finally I found a piece that I think it will be great to try that hack. This what I will be using, it's easy off oven cleaner. So what I've seen that they do, they spray this on furniture, leave it for 15 minutes and they, they scrub it off and you have a raw wood. I have no idea how, it, how this is going to come out, but I want to test it out uh, to keep things interesting. So let's do that. I'm going to protect myself. I'm going to put some gloves on actually double gloves. Uh, I will be wearing a mask. Uh, I definitely suggest you protect yourself really good. Uh, I've seen people do this usually outside, but uh, I cannot be doing it outside in the middle of the winter. So I'm going to open the door and let the air in. Uh, but yes, definitely uh, protect yourself. Your safety is more important than any project. The first thing actually I have to do is remove the hardware because I, want to replace it. I'm going to shake this off and I'm going to spray it all over and leave it like that for 15 minutes. So it's been 15 minutes. I ended up using one and a half can for this piece. And now I'm going to scrub it off using a scrubby sponge, hot water and a towel. Uh, some people just put it outside and they wash it with a hose. I'm afraid uh, washing pieces with hose because it can bubble up. So I'm just going to wipe everything and clean with the towel. So let's start scrubbing. Wow, look at that. I'm just going to keep on doing this, scrubbing it off with a sponge, then going off with a towel. Uh, it's really working. It's really uh, getting the varnish off. One thing I dislike is the odor. It's really strong and you have to wear a heavy duty mask. So that's a little suggestion, but yeah, let's keep on doing it. I'm done removing the oven cleaner and this is how it looks so far. You can see more on the side here. It's already getting dry. You can see that the varnish is off the stain, whatever that was before. Uh, so I probably spent good half an hour scrubbing that off. And now I'm going to clean everything with clean water and crud cutter just to make sure we get rid of all the oven cleaner on this piece and then I'm going to let everything dry and then I'm going to continue with the project. I left dresser to dry for a few hours and this is how it looks dry. Uh, as you can see it looks kind of a little uneven. I think I missed a spot here and here and on the side you can really see here where it needed another coat but honestly I wouldn't go through another coat of that it's way too smelly and way too much scrubbing so this thing definitely works as you can see it took everything off this is raw wood but I'm going to give it a light sand 
to uh, smooth everything out and make it look even. So let's go. The piece is done. It's stripped, cleaned, sanded. Uh, we have uh, bare wood now. Uh, my opinion on this, my honest thoughts on this uh, hack, on this oven cleaner hack is that it's not worth it. The fumes that you get uh, are so strong and honestly, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, you can just use a wood stripper and you will just get the same results. So why go through all of that? It just smells horrible and do not try this inside. I if you're gonna try it, try it outside. Don't do it inside. And now I'm going to do a light uh, wash on this piece using Coco Color by Annie Sloan. I want to get a nicer, uh, more uh, even look everywhere. So I'm just going to make some cocoa in a cup with some water. Okay. A little bit of water. This is going to be super light, nothing, nothing too much. I don't want to cover the wood grain. So just mix it really good. I got an Islon medium brush here and I got a microfiber cloth. So let's go. We're going to start from the top and keep going down. So I'm just getting a little bit of watery paint and going over this bare wood. I'm not going to wipe it immediately. When I'm doing this on chalk paint, I will usually wipe it immediately, but now I'm going to give it a few minutes to wipe it off so the wood can absorb this wash. Let's wipe this lightly. I feel like my paint is a little too thick, so I'm going to add more water. And I'm going to go over this to And that is how you do wash technique. You can still keep all this beautiful grain, but it just give it, give it a nicer look to the bare wood, in my opinion. And now you just repeat the process working from up down uh, to avoid any drips on p uh, places that are already done. One thing I noticed that the top uh, looked much brighter than the, than the rest of the dresser. So I'm not going even to wipe this off. I'm just going to put the wash and let it sit there. I'm just trying to make it nice and even look because I feel this one should not be wiped. My wash is dry now and I really love how it looks. What I really love about this piece is that it show how old it is. You can see the nails all over the dresser, 
uh, you can see how old that is. That's how they used to build furniture before. So we have these beautiful nails. We have wear and tear. And I actually love it because of that. Uh, this is just a really old piece of furniture. It's antique and uh, I love it the way it is. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply the transfer. I'm going to use Blossom Flight by Redesign with Prima, a beautiful neutral uh, transfer with birds and leaves and branches. I think this is going to complement this dresser very nice. I will have to cut it a little bit because I don't want transfer on these sides. I just want it inside the doors. I positioned my transfer here. I like how it looks. So now I know I'm going to start my transfer a little bit above this uh, keyhole. And I'll, now I can remove the rest. This is looking so pretty already. Natural, natural, everything is natural. You just want to take your time with this, making sure you transfer everything and you don't want to rip your transfer. Just take it slowly with patience. Beautiful. And I'm done with the transfer. It looks very beautiful. And now all we have to do is protect the wood and the transfer, put new hardware and we will be all done. For protection, I will be using Anislon Clear Wax with a uh, Redesign with Prima waxing brush. And I'm going, to apply, I'm going to apply this all over the piece. This is going to darken the color, but the cocoa wash is going to prevent for, from getting orange tones. So I'm just applying clear wax with a brush and since this is not chalk paint, uh, technically this is a bare wood. You don't have to wipe it off. If you want to make your piece shiny, you can come 24 hours later and buff it and it will give you a light shine. Right here, you can see a big difference when the piece is waxed and when it's not waxed, it just darkens the color. It looks much prettier. I got this neutral hardware with a little bit of gold, just to throw some gold on there. Uh, I'm going to go with this hardware because it's natural and the piece is natural, the transfer is natural, so I wanna keep it everything in a natural, vibe. So let's apply this hardware. And I just noticed that I have a huge buildup of wax here. And I completely missed this corner. Better. Whoop, where's the hole? <laughs> and we're done with this beautiful dresser. It's all done, protected. I really love how this looks. Um, I love that I kept 
uh, the wood grain there. I didn't cover it in paint. We still use the paint, but not so much. I really love this beautiful natural transfer in this hardware. And even though I'm all about the colors and bo bold colors and bright colors, there is something very beautiful and inviting about neutrals. So I understand why so many people love neutral uh, things. This piece was done in two days. Usually it takes me up to four, sometimes even five days to flip a piece of furniture to redo it completely. But this was pretty quick. I just really dislike the fumes from the oven cleaner. Um, I really hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next time with a new project and more ideas. Bye guys.